Welcome back to Bootcamp. In this video, Phil and I are going to put into practice everything we've covered in the last few videos, and we're going to actually play a game. Um, we'll be playing Free For All, which is a good starting mission because um, there's not too many complex rules, and we both start with all of our stuff on the table. So I'm fielding a Grand Hamid Squadron. I've got a Grand Hamid Squadron headquarters of three Grands, a Grand Hamid Troop of three Grands, a Crusader Armoured Troop of three Crusader Twos, and in support I have a Motor Platoon, and a 25 pounder field troop. I'll be fielding a Panzer III tank company with a Panzer III tank company HQ with one Panzer III long 5cm and one Panzer III short 5cm, a Panzer III tank platoon with three Panzer III short 5cm, a Panzer IV tank platoon with one Panzer IV with a long 7.5cm and one Panzer IV with a short 7.5cm, and in support I've got an Africa rifle platoon and an 8.8cm heavy AA platoon. So my plan is fairly simple. I've put one objective over on that flank and one objective over on this flank. What I'm planning on doing is splitting the Germans, using my Crusaders over here to draw the Germans onto this flank while my Grants over here push hard to take this objective over here. My artillery and infantry in the middle will be holding the objective and doing their best to support everyone else. I've deployed my objectives, one in the centre and one on this flank. I've deployed my forces spread out across the table, but my plan is to really push for this centre objective. Um, my Panzer III's hopefully will make short work of Phil's Crusaders and then angle across to join in on the main thrust. And James rolls well and gets the first turn. Okay, first thing, I'm going to move my Panzer III's at tactical speed. That's 10 inches, 25 centimetres for the Panzer III. And they will be able to get shots at Phil's Crusaders. My HQ unit is also going to push forward to where it can engage Phil's Grants. And finally my Panzer IVs will also move up to get shots at Phil's Grants. That's all of my movement. Cool, the end of the movement step. Time for shooting. So first up, both of my Panzer IVs are going to shoot at Phil's Grant HQ. Normally they would need fours to hit, but it's at long range, it's over 16 inches or 40 centimetres, so they're going to need fives. So I'll start with the short 7.5. So it's a rate of fire of one when moving, so he gets one dice. And the long 7.5 will hit. Okay, so that means I now have an armour save. I'll put on that guy. And we'll just rotate the turrets to point at the target. My armour is 5, I roll the dice and add that to it, so that's 10, and because the range is long, over 16 inches or 40 centimetres, I add another 1 and 11. Which is higher than my anti-tank of 10, so he is fine. Yay! Okay, next my HQ unit are going to fire at Phil's other Grant platoon. Now, they are concealed behind this hill, uh, and because he hasn't moved or shot, um, he counts as gone to ground, um, which means it's long range, concealed, um, gone, gone to ground. ground. So, so it's I'm four, five, six, seven. I'm actually going to need sevens to hit him. So it's still and not a six sided dice. Yep. He can do that. He rolls a six and then needs a five. It's still not impossible. So starting with the short five centimeter, no, nope. he's just going to miss. And then the long five centimeter. Ooh, nearly. Okay. He's so going to get a five and it's a hit. Oh, oh good, lucky, lucky shot, <laughs> or clever shot, or something. Okay, oh, so it's an armor save. Going My five, plus one is six, plus one for long range is seven. Your anti-tank, I believe, is nine, so that's straight through. Okay, so I need a firepower test. Firepower to kill, otherwise I'm bailed. Whew. So this tank here is bailed out. Next, my 88s are going to shoot at that same platoon. They will also need sevens. sevens. Yep. Okay, so they get... One, one dice, dice each. Fixed. I'll roll those together. Ooh! <laughs> a lot of luck shooting this time. Oh, so okay. One hit. Now, I can roll, oh, I roll my armor save on this one. Mm -hmm. Five plus two. That's certainly not going to do it because he's got anti tank 14. Okay. And firepower of three plus. So Ooh, it's going to be with one, a six, dead, one very that's dead tank. One dead grunt. Now my infantry don't have anything to shoot at, so they will be gone to ground. 
Finally, my other Panzer III's are going to shoot at Phil's Crusaders. Now, I think one of them here is uh, concealed from that one, so we'll roll oh. that one separately. Okay, so I'll roll him first. I think that's a long, long range shot. Long range. My Crusaders are aggressive, they hit on three plus, so that's a hit. Okay. We better roll the rest of the shots first, hadn't we? No, two misses. Okay, so I have armor of three, add six is nine, long range ten. Your anti tank is eight, lucky crusader. Okay, so that is my shooting for turn one. And there's no assaults, so that's end you of your turn, it's my turn. Now, at the start of my turn I have a slight problem. I have my Grant tank here that's bailed out. Fortunately I have protected ammo on the Grant, so I get a 3 plus to remount. 3, that's good. And that brings me back up to two operational tanks, so I don't have to worry about running away. On to the movement step. Let's get these Grants forward. So they'll wander up there and engage the Mark IVs. This one's got plenty of targets, but this one can't really see much, so he's going to just crawl up the hill a bit as well. Now 25 pounders aren't going to move. My Crusaders are going to... a frontal fight with them is not a good bet, so I'm just going to hide around here, ready to dash out onto their flank next turn. Let's start with my headquarters. Now, I moved, so my rate of fire is one each with my uh, 75mm hull mounted guns, but the Grant's a nice little tank, it's got a 37 in the turret as well, which I can also shoot, although it has a plus one to hit penalty for doing so. So, this one has a nice clean shot there, as does that one, but that one's going to be a concealed shot, so we'll have to do that separately. So I'm hitting you on fours, there's no range or concealment or anything else, so two shots needing four, woohoo, two hits, one each, and the last one is going to be plus one for the concealment, five, and that one doesn't. Now, the 37s are going to be four plus one for firing while the main gun is firing, so that's going to be fives, and they miss, and the last 37 is going to be a six. Oh, and that scores a hit as well. So. I'll allocate the hits as such. Okay, and because it's in my best interest to swap these hits around, I'm going to try to make a mistaken target roll. Yep, so and he succeeds on a 3+, plus. he can swap the hits. Okay. So my gunners couldn't tell which one had the long barrel and started pounding the um, closer short barreled one. Okay, so we'll get some armor saves going. Okay. So one on this guy. Against a 75. Okay, so armor 5 plus 5 is 10, my anti tank's 9. Sad. Okay, so in this one, so for the 75. Ooh, ooh. I like that. 5 and 1 is 6, but my anti tank is 9, so that's a clean penetration. Firepower to kill, otherwise bailed. And I have a 3 plus firepower. There goes a little Mark 4. Okay, my last two grants are going to engage those pesky Mark III's over there. Plenty of range, no problem. And it's going to be 4's, long range 5's. 275 shots, one scores a hit, and we're going to aim for that long barreled one. And 237's on 4's, long range 5's, firing with my 75 6's. They can't hit a thing. So, we've got one hit on the long barrel 5 centimeter, And a mistaken target roll from James, he wants to put it on the short one, rolls a one, fails. Okay. So, so I get the target I want. I'm a save. Five and five is ten, and I'm only into tank nine. And in fact, it's going to be eleven for long range. So it just bounces off. So my twenty-five pounders over here are now going to fire a bombardment. Now, unlike direct fire, they get a nice little template. So I'm going to attempt to range in right between the guns. Oops, firing battery this way it says, and that points back at my battery. Okay, to range in, I use my skill, which is 3+, plus. however, I'm ranging it on terrain, it makes it 4+, plus, and I get 3 attempts. My first attempt, 3. My second attempt, 3. And my last attempt, 2. Well, the 88s are lucky, hiding in those scrub, my gunners are having trouble finding them. No range in, no bombardment. Now my infantry have a boys anti tank rifle with a pretty good range, and unfortunately my anti-tank's only four and I'm going to get front shots at the moment. I'm going to have to wait until you give me a better target. And my Crusaders aren't shooting, so that's the end of my shooting step. 
my Panzer IV unit has to make a last stand test. Yep, it's got less than two and it's lost a tank. Fortunately, with my third Reich rule, I only need to roll a three or higher. Six, that's going to do it. He's going to stay in the fight. My Panzer IV is going to stay put and use its halted rate of fire against the Grants. My Panzer III's are going to move up into short range, being careful not to block the line of sight of my 88s, and hopefully getting close enough that my commander can give a reroll to the uh, surviving Panzer IV for his future last stand tests. Phil's sneaky crusaders have moved to where my Panzer threes can't see them, so I'm going to attempt a blitz move, which if successful means I'll be able to get shots on them using my halted rate of fire because I won't count as moving. So with a skill 3 plus I need to... Yes! Yes! Uh, well. And that's your movement done. Mm -hmm. Start with my Panzer threes are going to shoot at Phil's sneaky Crusaders. The Crusaders have concealment from the Palm Grove from two of the Panzer threes, so they will need fours. Three hits. That's going to be nasty, so I presume you're going to go something like that. Mm -hmm. And then the last guy is going to hit on base of threes. My aggressive Crusaders aren't very good at hiding, so that's going to presumably go on the last guy. Two saves on this guy. He's got a front of three, so three and five is eight, and three and one is not good. But eight is enough to actually protect me somewhat. So this one, you need a firepower to bail me out. No. No, no so effect whatsoever. Fine. And then the second hit, unfortunately I rolled a four, which is way less than your eight, so it's a penetration. And that's a dead tank. Now that's my command tank. I am going to immediately switch command and then this tank here will die. So the sergeant's tank, five. Okay, so that's a possible bail out there. Three, nope, your five power's four plus, so he's fine. Sergeant's fine, and now the corporal's tank. Six, and that is nine. He's completely fine. I only lose one tank. Okay, so your 88s are opening up. So the two shots this turn, mm -hmm. and they're going to need fours, long range, fives, and mm -hmm. concealed sixes. sixes. And they've still got some good shooting going one on. One hit. One hit. Which one are you going to pick? I'll put it on your leader there. Guy up the top. Okay, now I've got armor of five, long range six, and four is ten, way less than the fourteen. Not even much point in rolling. So three plus firepower. Ooh, another dead tank. And once again, I'm going to switch from the uh, lieutenant's tank to the corporal's tank as my new command tank. So next, my Panzer IV is going to shoot at the HQ grants. So that's two dice halted. And needing fours. fours. One that's hit. One hit. Okay, my armor save is five plus one, six, okay, that's straight through. Firepower to kill. And he makes it. Okay, I get out of my tank and kick somebody else out of theirs. Okay, so now the Mark threes. Yes, so the commander will shoot at that same unit. Also, he's moving, so he's only moving one so shot. Also needing a four, so that's a miss. And finally, the uh, short 5cm will shoot at the uh, remaining ground yep. from this unit. Um, concealed, concealed behind the hill, so it's going to be 5. Ooh, and scores a hit. However, I've got armor 5, and 5 is 10. That's so enough that's to stop a little 8 shot. Finally, my 2.8cm uh, anti-tank rifle can get a concealed shot on that unit. Uh, well, you better remove your gone to ground marker. You're not gone to ground anymore. Am I at long range? Yes, four, long range, five. Concealed, concealed six. six. I like that. But not when he rolls like that. One hit. One hit. Okay, that is going to be an armor save of five, and five is 10. Only anti-tank seven, so he's four. fine. Whew. No assaults, it's my turn. Ah, I've got one last movement order that I'd like to do. Being Germans, because I passed my first movement order, this unit gets to make a second attempt. So I need a three plus for this unit to make a shoot and scoot, which they failed. 
it's not really that important I just wanted to back up a little bit because I'm a bit worried about Phil's high tactical move I'm worried that he might come scooting around and get some flank shots on me but say la vie yeah, if he had succeeded it would have been a 4 inch 10 centimeter move at the end of the turn okay so it's now my turn 